Paralyzed and brain damaged after suffering a massive electric shock while flying a kite outside his West Bank home three years ago. Islam Zghari's father says his son's conditions wouldn't be so bad had he been able to access the nearest hospital in East Jerusalem if the concrete wall and the tough permit regime that comes with it did not cause the delays that damaged the boy's health. Up until recently, Islam's father couldn't escort him to Jerusalem as his permit requests were rejected on erroneous security grounds only too little, too late. <laughs> When I tried to pass through the checkpoint to see my son in the hospital, the Israeli intelligence called me for questioning. They asked me what the problem was. I said, you summoned me and I have no criminal record. My son is dying and I just want to see him. Sixty-five-year-old Kamli Salim from Nablus has 40 grandchildren. She was the only member of her entire family able to pass a security check to escort her seven-month-old grandchild, Yasmin, to receive treatment for her critical respiratory problems. Her mother applied for a permit to enter Israel three times. She was refused every time because her brother was in prison. That's why. Palestinians in the West Bank are not allowed into Israel for treatment unless they have a permit. The process of getting one is lengthy and complex, with males often denied permits on security grounds. Behind me is one of the three checkpoints Palestinians in the West Bank are allowed to use to access hospitals in East Jerusalem, only if they get the required permits from the Israeli authorities. Now, passage through this particular checkpoint is only possible on foot, a difficulty for sick and injured people who are unable to walk. The UN Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs and the World Health Organization here issued a report expressing grave concern about Palestinians' access to health care due to the barrier. We want to, there to be much easier access to these hospitals for patients, staff and much faster access, reliable fast access for ambulance. The Israeli civil administration told Al Jazeera in a written statement that 84% of applicants are granted permits to access hospitals and if some are rejected due to a lack of required documents, they're approved once they complete all the paperwork. It did not make clear its rejection policy for security reasons, neither did it specify the average waiting time, a reason many patients miss their appointments and treatment. But the barrier not only deprives many Palestinians of their basic rights to health care, it also cuts into their land and damages the possibility of a future Palestinian state. Nisreen al-Shamayli al-Jazeera, East Jerusalem.